Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be editing a black and white image and we'll be converting it into black and white fine art. I've already edited the image, it was a color image and now we'll be turning it into black and white in Photoshop. We won't be using Photoshop much, we'll be coming from Lightroom going to Photoshop and then back into Lightroom for some masking. We'll convert it into black and white in Photoshop and that's all. We'll use a couple of layers, very easy and simple steps, just follow along with me and we'll convert it into a fine art image in Lightroom. We'll be doing quite a few masking in this tutorial we'll just be using the masking we won't be using any of the other sliders and the masking tool will be using mostly the linear gradient and the radial gradient and don't forget i'll be showing you the final image at the end of the video i've edited before i started this video well i hope you enjoy it and let's get into Lightroom and I hope you follow along with me and thanks for watching. Well here we are in Lightroom. I'll be using Lightroom for this tutorial. I usually use Adobe Camera Raw but I know most of you guys prefer Lightroom. I've already done the editing on this color images which will be turning it into black and white fine art as you can see i've increased saturation and the vibrance but i don't use these ones i use the calibration tab down here i prefer this than using the other normal sliders vibrance and saturation because they give me a more, a more accurate and natural look don't go too much I'm gonna leave it around there 67 plus 67 now in my other videos I've explained I've used Photoshop to turn it into black and white to convert it and then I switch back to Lightroom and continue with the mask in here. I will not be using any other sliders I will just be using the masking on the photo. So now we're gonna switch it over to Photoshop to turn it into black and white right click and edit in Photoshop so here we are in Photoshop my next step is to go down to this panel here the adjustments layer where it's a half circle or black and white and I go up to the black and white tab and here we have the individual colors it's already turned to black and white I'm gonna move it one step further I'm going to use these colors an adjustment and adjust them very subtly the reds are affecting the brick wall or over here I'm gonna raise it slightly check out the yellows again I'm gonna raise it slightly as well We don't have any greens. 
try the cyan. I'll leave it how it is. I don't want to affect the sky that much. Because we already have a, a dark shaded area here. Try the blues. And I'm going to leave it how it was. And the magenta is just affecting the sky here. I'll leave that how it is as well. Now I go back down to the adjustment layer and I click on the gradient map. Another window has popped up, it's gone more dark, contrasty. Go up to here, drop down window and click on classic. And there we have our black and white image. And we go, we'll be going back to Lightroom. Close here. I'm going to flatten here these layers. I'm going to close Photoshop. And it should give me a copy in Lightroom. So we're back in Lightroom again. Like I said, I'm not going to touch any of these sliders. I go straight to the masking. And from here, we're going to be turning it in to black and white fine art. I'm going to start with a linear gradient. Place it over the sky. Pull it all the way down to about there and this mask I'm going to intersect it with the select sky. You intersect it by clicking these three dots here, intersect mask with and select which one you want. Like I said, we'll be using the sky and select sky. And the mask will disappear, be removed from the bridge here, the breakwater. There we are. I'm going to reduce the exposure. To around there. Take it up a bit. To about minus 1.42. Again, click on the mask. I'm going to create another linear gradient and now I'll be placing it again on the sky but mostly over the top right hand corner so we get an even, an even sky on both sides. I'm going to tilt it a bit. And leave it around there. Again, I'm going to intersect this mask with the sky. And again, reduce the exposure. And try to match both ends evenly should be okay not too bad I'm going to create another mask another linear gradient and place it over the bottom foreground lift it up to here I'm trying to darken here, don't worry about the C, and dial it down some exposure. Should be okay somewhere there. 
And next, I'm going to create another linear gradient for the foreground again. But I'm not going to pull it up too much. Somewhere there. Reduce the exposure just a bit. Okay. Next, gonna create another mask. As I said before, we'll just be using the masking. But now I'm gonna create a radial gradient. I find this my favorite tool. I'm gonna to place it over the horizon on the breakwater lighthouse. Going to move it along here. So we lighten the center part of the image drawing our viewer's eye along this bridge and over the breakwater and to the lighthouse. I'm going to increase the exposure not too much. Around there should do it. I'm going to create another radial and I'm going to mask away some of the sea. I'm going to create some lines here tilt it up a bit and open it up but now I'm going to reduce the exposure should be okay I'm gonna do the same Use another radial gradient. Tilt it up. Not too much. Open it up. But right here I'm going to increase the exposure. So we get like these patterns here. Next I'm going to do another radio. I'm going to put it over this, I don't know what it's called, where they tie the, the rope. Somewhere there. And I'm going to raise the exposure for here. Just subtle movements. Not too much. Should be okay. I'm going to do another radio. And place it <coughs> over excuse me, the top. Here. and increase it just a bit like that another radial gradient you can do as many as you like radials but don't overdo it and always try to make the picture natural gonna place it here Tilt it a bit. And again, I'm going to increase the exposure here. Should be okay. Don't worry if we're touching part of the sea. Doesn't matter. Open it up a bit. And that should be okay. 
another one a radio I'm gonna place it over here where the stones seem to be sliding down But here I'm going to darken it. As you can see the light is coming from this right side. I'm going to decrease it here. Move it a bit. And that should be okay. I'm going to do another radio and I'll be placing it over here. Should be okay. Increase the exposure. okay like that now I'm gonna close the mask in step back a bit and take a look at the image seems to be going okay I'm gonna go back to the mask in going to show you the before image before we applied masking you can see the difference and now I'm going to do one more radial gradient and I'm going to do a vignette but my vignette will be have a natural look I'm not going to place it in the center like normal vignettes. I'm going to place it from where the light is coming in. I'm imagining the light, the sun was on this side, somewhere there. And I'll be pulling down the mask and opening it a bit. Here I'm going to invert the mask. I'm going to open it some more. And here I'm going to reduce the exposure. Should be okay like that and I'm gonna show you the before and after as well before and the after without the masks and with the masks and there we have our final image from color to black and white and then to fine art black and white I'll be showing you the images the image at the end of the video make sure to hit the subscribe button to watch my other videos on turning your images into fine art thanks for watching guys and hope to see you in another video See you and thanks. Bye.